Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, I will be discussing dry January. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, share it, comment, love it. So what is dry January? Dry January means no alcohol consumption for the entire month of January. Dry January is a United Kingdom campaign that started in 2012 to encourage people to consider and discuss alcohol consumption and inspire behavior change following a positive and fun-filled month of sobriety. Dry January is not a detox challenge or for people with dependency issues. It's aimed at people who are steadily drinking too much, too often exceeding recommended guidelines of alcohol consumption without realizing the effect that it may have on their health. Participants of Dry January have testified that they sleep better, have more energy, lose some weight, save money, and notice improvements on their skin and hair health. Studies have also shown that moderate drinkers experience improvements in reduced cholesterol levels, lower glucose levels, and lower blood pressure. They also showed an overall weight loss and losing 40% of liver fat. Studies also showed improvement in concentration and sleep patterns. Just a reminder that alcohol is a known carcinogen. Alcohol is linked to over 60 medical conditions, including diabetes, cancer, depression, and hypertension, just to name a few. Alcohol contributes to anxiety and negatively interacts with medication. A lot of people are turning to mocktails instead of alcohol-infused cocktails. Just remember that these mocktails contain sugar. Sugar is inflammatory and may also promote weight gain and lead to other chronic health conditions. Are you abstaining from alcohol this month? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope everyone learned something new today and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.